Welcome to this docking tutorial. We're going to start off with rendezvous, then we're going to move on to docking, and I'm going to do this in real time. I might cut out some bits when we're, we're basically taking time between things, but in reality, you're going to see me try and explain this in real time as I'm trying to press keys so you know pretty much what I'm doing, and you should probably be able to hear it. So we're going to start out with a little easy example of rendezvous and docking, and that is two craft. We've got one craft here, docking two, which is at an altitude of 125 kilometers around Kerbin, another one that's docking one that's about 150 kilometers. You can see docking two is behind docking one. So here we are in orbit with our docking craft. This is uh, Val, is our pilot for today. And you can see we've got our CS, we've got uh, the uh, command pod, we've got a docking port on the front there. Whatever you do when you're designing the, the craft, remember you want to be able to translate, which is the process of going side to side. And you also want to be able to rotate. Now rotation and changing your position, your angle of uh, your orientation is important but the actual translation side to side forwards backwards up down that is important the really important bit for docking um, your reaction wheel will allow you to change the orientation of the craft it will not allow you to actually do any of the sort of translation we need to get this craft first of all into a rendezvous what we can say is this is our target first of all we're going to left click on it and we're going to set it as target and this gives us a few different pieces of information. It tells us the apps of our target, very nice. It also tells us, and the pair apps, it also sends, it tells us descending and ascending nodes. Now, these are actually aligned craft, but if they were not on the same plane, if this was not zero, what you would need to do is you'd need to take your craft, go to where this descending or ascending node is, create a maneuver node, and then you'd be looking at normal or anti-normal burns. That's the purple the triangles the purpley triangles and what you'd actually see is this ascending node would change okay ascending and descending node would change and you would want to try and get that as close to zero as possible the first thing you do would then be carry out that burn and then we move on with the rest of the tutorial i'm going to assume you can do that okay even if you don't do that you can still get a rendezvous what you want though is your rendezvous to happen at this ascending or descending node so I tend to start off by looking at my ascending and descending node. I go for the furthest one from my craft. And what we wanna do is we wanna, we wanna create a maneuver and I want my craft to actually move up into a higher orbit. It's called a Hoffman transfer. I wanna move into this higher orbit. So I'm gonna do a prograde burn and you can see over this side, here we are. We've now gone up into a slightly higher orbit, which is actually, you know, at the sort of height that uh, we're looking at. Now that's a bit too high. So I wanna bring it back down just a little bit. And I want it to be roughly around, where's our apps? Our apps is 154. The apps of this uh, thing that we're looking at is, let me find it, 150. So I'm still going a little high there. Okay, so we'll just bring that down. And we can actually look on the bottom left here. And you can actually see my predicted uh, future height of 152, which is okay. I can, I, can, I can play with that a little bit. And we can pull that down just a smidgen until it's about 150. So we know it's about the same height as the highest point of this. Now remember, this is to do with circular orbits. If you were having a more elliptical orbits, you'd have to play around a bit more with this, but you know, this is the simple one. This is the easiest one you're gonna do. If you go to space station, this is what you're gonna be trying to do. You're gonna try and you know, arrive at it and dock it. If you want to actually keep a track on the craft that you're looking at, you can actually right click on them. You see, right click, and it will actually dull out and show you the data there. You can right click again, and it stops by showing, okay? Right now, the close approach, if we carry out this maneuver, the close approach to our craft is, let's have a look, you're looking at 700 kilometers. There's nowhere near each other. So what you can do is on this maneuver node, right click on it and it'll bring up this other menu. And one of them is this button here, which means next orbit. So if I, if I instead of doing this burn as soon as it comes along, I can say, what happens if I do it in the next orbit? And you see it moves us. So if I waited another orbit, these are actually getting closer, okay? If I do it again, closer again. Let's try it again. Now they're getting very close. So at this point, if I go again, they've gone past each other. So we can go back. This is our closest. So what we can now do is we can either change our maneuver node to get these closer at the same time, or we can actually change where we're doing the burn. Now at the moment, this rendezvous is not near our descending node. So that's not perfect for us. We're not, we're not saving anything by doing this. So what we can just do is just roll around. You can see we can watch them. You can also look down here on the left where we can actually see the distance between them if we click on this button here, the little thing that looks like a pause. Um, right, so you can actually see, if we just move this around in the bottom left there, you can see how close it's going to get. We can just move that around a little bit and you see it's 500 meters is a perfectly good start for rendezvous. So we could leave it as it is, but we actually might want to get a bit better. So we're going to use 
this little tab here, which is the graphical maneuver editor. And we're gonna drop that down. See this little slider here? You can see it tells you the numbers at the bottom here as to what's being changed. I'm gonna throw that down just a little bit. We don't need small changes. And first of all, we're gonna look at, right, what if we just change our prograde, uh, prograde and retrograde burns? We can see if we do prograde, it's going down and then it goes up again. So we know it's optimal is there. We can do radial in and radial out. That's going up, that's going up as well. So that's not helping us. Mm, what about inclination then? So we do that a little bit and you can see that's actually helping us quite a lot. So we can keep doing that until we get closer and closer. And what we'll find is at some point it'll start going up again. And when that happens, we can play around with the others. And you can keep doing this over and over again. I'm gonna fast forward to the burn, do the burn, and uh, I'll be back with you. Right, so we're a minute out from our burn, and if, and I'll say this now, if you're doing it on sand, sandbox mode or anything, you will have all of these. If you're firing career, you'll have all of these little things that the crew can do. If you don't, you can do this manually. You can orientate your craft using W, A, A S, and D. Um, but I'm just gonna click on the maneuver node button and it's gonna use its thing. You see we're in the dark there, just turn around. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this burn with the main engines, get as close as I can, and I'm gonna keep an eye on this left-hand side here. I wanna keep an eye on this because this is actually the true target for me. I don't need to worry too much about the actual burn. That's a guide. My aim is this intercept here. So we're gonna just accelerate time just a smidgen to get nearby, slow it down, and then we're going to do this. And I'm actually gonna use RCS to, to finish this off. So we're gonna use we're gonna use H and N to just do this. So we're gonna H a little bit. And you can see it's not, it's gonna take me ages. I've got, but I've got loads of RCS. I can check that here. Loads of RCS, not too worried about it. I would suggest use your engine to be sensible about this. But you can see by doing this, I'm actually bringing it closer, 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 closer. There we go. You can do this with main engines. You can do it with RCS. It's entirely up to you. And we're gonna try and take this as close as possible. There we go. A little bit more, up to 100, and we actually go even closer, look at that, 50. Let's go 50, so we've actually 30, 20, I think we'll stop at 20 because the craft might end up hitting each other. So, you can see there we've burned off all of that. We're actually done better than we thought we were gonna do because of that. So, next, the target is gonna be uh, traveling a lot faster. As you notice, this has been changed to target mode. If I click on it, you can change it from orbit to surface to target. So to properly rendezvous, we need to be at the same speed in the same sort of space. You can see that in about 14 minutes, we're gonna be near each other. We could just sit here and wait, or we can actually look along and just go, you know what, let's put a maneuver node there. Add a maneuver node, doesn't do anything with it. Click off it and you can actually time warp. There we go. And it will take you to it. You can see it buzzing along there. And there we can go, you can see the craft that we're trying to approach and it's gonna do a funny wobble. It's gonna go past us and then towards us and then all over the place. We know in about a minute, we're actually going to be on top of it in effect. And you can see our craft there in a silhouette. I apologize, it's not, not the best of silhouettes, is it? So we need to get this craft to be at the same speed. Well, how do we do that? We've got it set in target mode and we wanna go in the retrograde and we can actually turn off our RCS now. We don't wanna waste it because you know, wasted enough already. Um, we wanna put it in our retrograde. That means that we're gonna go against the direction of speed difference, okay? So this is, the, this is the relative speed of the target craft. We wanna reduce that. So we wanna be pointing in retrograde relative to target velocity compared to us, okay? And we're basically just counting now. We're gonna look at this time. We've got about a minute to go. Um, we can actually speed this up. This is gonna take us, you know, no time at all. We can get rid of our maneuver node as well. So we know we need to get 22 meters per second and we can do this a little early. So we're gonna just move along till we get to about 30 seconds. There we go. And we're starting to close in. So this is where it sort of comes, you know, how late do you wanna do this? We're keeping a look at this number here. We can actually just, you know, start to slow down a bit. Give us a bit of uh, wear, wearing a warning. Got about 30 seconds. You see, as I do this, this the, the distance closer to approach will change a little because I'm changing my direction a little bit. And um, we're just gonna do that. And we're gonna stop it with that. We've taken most of our speed off now. So most of our speed is gone. We've lost, you know, two thirds of the speed that we had. So now the next thing is just waiting for it to come in. I'm gonna speed up time a little bit because, you know, it takes time. Docking is not the quickest of things. So there we go, coming in. 
we're coming close, 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 close. We should be able to get to about 26 meters. So we're going to just do that. There we go. And now we're 0 0.2 meters away from it. So there we go. That is your rendezvous completed. Wonderful. On the dark side, because, you know, we always do, don't we? Next step. We need to actually dock with this thing. Right. First of all, make sure that you are controlling from your docking port. So our docking port is there, is on the front. We're gonna right click on it and choose control from there. Now, we've positioned our other craft normal. So let's just dump over to the other craft. There we go. We're gonna set this to definitely be in normal orientation, okay? And we're gonna set it so that it is controlled from its docking port. You can dock in other ways, but normal anti-normal is the easiest way to do it because your craft tends to basically rotate around the planet and, and things like that in odd ways. So. This one we're going to set to anti-normal. There we go. We don't even need to use RCS for that. Okay. And then we're going to set our RCS on. And now we're going to use H and N. So H and N. So I'm going to use N because it's going to send me backwards. I'm below this craft. I want to go towards it. This is my nose at the bottom here. See, there's my nose at the bottom. I want to go towards this craft. And you can see on the on the here, I, I'm actually seeing my, my, my vector of travel compared to my target moving now. So the idea is that I just want to fly up and you can you can give this as much as you want really in all relativity. Um, you're going to get closer and closer because of course you're, you're flattening the triangle in effect right now, okay? Um, it would be really nice if the sun appeared right now or Kerbal. So we're going to wait until, and because we're holding in the normal anti-normal position, we can actually just be like, okay, as soon as this thing passes past me, as soon as my target is beyond me, I can actually stop, I can actually zero up my thrust. So there we go, we're just gonna do that, bit of speed. And now I can start going right, I want to uh, I want to zero that out a bit. Right, we are now in the sunlight, so we can do this properly and go back to normal speed. So, we've moved our craft, so it's on the correct side of the docking port. We've orientated both craft so that they are basically facing in the same direction or opposite directions in, in reality. Now, we're now drifting, you see? This craft is moving away from us. So, using our I key will take us this way. Using our K key will take us the other way. We know we're going to go past that, but we're not too far yet. L will take us away from the craft, so we're going to use the J key, okay? We want to move towards that craft. And I'm trying to do this quickly, which means it's going to go horribly wrong. So, we're J keying across, and then I'm going to, I'm going to just move me a little bit with the key because I want to just pull it to this side here. Try and dry, design your craft. Here I've got my solar panels separating the segments. You could actually just put them in line um, and it will help you just, you know, in mind orientating these things. And then we're just going to hitch it because I want to go a bit closer. I want to get closer. You can see on the nav ball, I'm starting to get my prograde marker coming towards the front of my craft. You can also see this marker here is where the target is. Okay. So I want to just drift myself. And what I actually want to do is, you see, I've actually put this on the far side of where that docking port is. So that means I'm going to pass that docking port before I get to my final target. Okay. And what you can do is if you're really just like that, just do that. So we know we're now actually going to head down towards that target. You can see we're moving closer and closer. Now I am in very short while going to stop this and fire up these things because I want to, there we go, and docked, easy. So there you go, first docking, obviously not aligned perfectly, you could try it yourself. If you want to download the save file, more than welcome to, this is in uh, Kerbal 1.11, but until next time, enjoy your dockings.